you're going to be home soon, so you can stay and wait here. The only reason you wanted me to get you home safe was to get me away from Sunny. Who cares about Sunny? Let's see, Jess. No, I, Connie, I have to go. She makes the cutest sound now. She coos and she sounds like a little dove. Connie, baby. I know what you're trying to do. No, you know I'm not going to stand around and watch you beat yourself up for the things Franco did. This one has the right to know. I mean, if you were going to choose between Elizabeth and Lulu, who would you choose? What are you doing? Sam, I mean, this is an entirely different situation. I know, right, because I'm not Elizabeth. No, because you're not a mother. You don't have kids. You don't have children that will wonder why you never came home. So Let me not... stop! Sit. If you didn't save me from Franco, I would have been in the warehouse, not Lulu. And that's what he wanted. He wanted you to choose between me and Sam. Funny, that's a choice I tried to force on you many of times. It's not the same thing. You called Dominic. He got to Lulu in time. She's alive. Everything's fine. But this is a switch, isn't it? What? I'm giving you the pep talk instead of the other way around. I've seen you go through so much, Jason, but I've never seen you like this. What's going on? Because every move I made was wrong. That's not true. Yes, it is. Every time I came to Franco, he saw it from a mile away, just like he said he would. Okay, don't tell me you believe one word that came out of that man's mouth. He's gone. You won. I don't think the whole time Franco was in poor Charles, he did anything he didn't want to do. He's smart. Not if you ask me. Because I think anyone who would take you on is a fool. Not to mention suicidal. He may be a fool, but he's right. Me and Franco, we are alike. Thank you. I'm sorry. I knew I was, I was completely out of line. It's okay. I know you're upset. No, it, it's not. I, I know that you lost a child, and I know how horrible that was for you. I didn't mean to open up old wounds. I know you didn't. Because if you're mad at anyone, you're mad at Jason. Sam was in as much danger as I was. Yeah, but my bomb wasn't real. But you didn't know that until the timer ran out. You were still abducted and held against your will and forced to watch what you thought were the last seconds of your life ticking away. Lulu's right. Look, Sam, I should have told you this right away. I'm really, really grateful that you're both alive. For Franco, it was all about the experience. He was just living in the moment. So you're saying he just does it for the thrill? Oh, he can't really feel, so he pushes the envelope. I'm the same way. No, you're not no, the one. No, our right reasons right. might be different, but I'm never as alive as I am when I'm taking a risk. I push everything to the edge. I always have, and I still do. And I've taken people's lives. And you've had reasons. Franco's a coward, Jason. He hides behind his art. The man is twisted and just plain evil, and I've seen the good that you do. I appreciate you listening. You know where your strength comes from? What Franco can't touch? Your heart. And that's where I am. And all the people who love you. How can Franco possibly compete with that? Well, you asked to see me. I didn't bring that in. Yeah, I'm not in the mood for the... You know I respect you, Lucky, but I can't tell you anything, Speech, all right? So let's just jump to the part where you shut up. Okay. If you respected me, you wouldn't have lied to my face for months about Jake. You wouldn't have pretended to be Elizabeth's platonic friend when you knew damn well that you were the father of her baby. You wouldn't have let me believe that Jake was mine. You're right. You are a glaring reminder that I have a really bad habit of trusting the wrong people. when I almost lost a sister. You think I'd know by now not to put too much faith in your so-called honor? You could have come to my face like a man, said the truth, instead of lying to me, instead of waiting for a chance to steal my wife. Oh, I'm sorry, man. No, you don't owe me anything. No, I just... Uh, I just dragged Elizabeth and, and Jake into a what's supposed to be a police interrogation that's completely unprofessional. Another uh, investigator's gonna contact you, get your statement, take it on 
Yes, I will. You're lucky for me. For the record, I do respect you. And I am sorry for being dishonest about Elizabeth and Jake because I've seen how you are with him. I've seen how safe you keep him. With everything that's happened with Franco and how he came at me, I cannot tell you how grateful I am that Jake has you as a father. Do you think I have a future as an artist? I don't know. I'm thinking maybe we can start a whole new movement. Anti-graffiti. I don't know about the artist part, but I like it. No, oh, thank you. I can't take all the credit, though. It was Spinelli's idea. Look, I'm sorry for letting Franco drag you into this. Um, wait a minute. Jason, can you, can you do something for me, please? Can you stop? Apologizing for Franco. I know you don't really put yourself in the same position as everybody else, but believe it or not, you are just as much of a victim. No, I wasn't a victim. I just didn't understand the rules of Franco's game until it was almost too late. Franco will make contact when he's ready. So, what happens now? Well, we wait for the autopsy report on Claudia and hope there's nothing that can implicate Michael. You know, I've been meaning to tell you. Thank you for choosing to save my life. There's never a choice. Do I need to be invisible to just survive forever? Let's go for a ride. Just so hard to quiet my mood. Expensive dreams before they take. 